I give a lot of credit for my career to sports. So I played competitive tennis growing up, and I didn't win all the tournaments. And I think that, that notion of resiliency is just a trait that works really well in business. Welcome Dawn Hudson, you're the Chief Marketing Officer of the NFL. Great to have you here. Thank you, great to be here. When the NFL Commissioner called you and asked you to do this job, you at first discounted yourself and said that you know the job wasn't for you, you didn't see yourself doing it. Why did you feel that and, and what made you change your mind? So I had known the Commissioner because he was actually head of sponsorship when I was running Pepsi. So when my cell phone rang and I saw Roger Goodell's name come up, I thought, wow, you know, so I talked to him and I had said to Roger, who had asked me, Dawn, would you consider taking this job or would you help me? You know the NFL well, will you help me find the right woman? I don't think it was 60 seconds later I said, wait a minute, that sounds like a great job. What am I thinking about? So when you walked through the door of the NFL, you confronted a massive crisis immediately, which was that the star player, Ray Rice, had been caught on a video camera in an elevator beating up his girlfriend, beating her senseless and dragging her out of the elevator. What was it like for you to walk into that crisis and how did you feel as a woman in this key job having to suddenly, frankly, spin such a very difficult situation? I had so many texts and messages from people saying, well, you're not going to take the job now, are you? And I, my quick reaction was, absolutely, because now they need me more than ever. And one of the challenges with something like the NFL that's so successful is that sometimes you're reticent to change. And when you have a crisis, you're open to change. And the way the NFL looked at it is, look, it's a not, not a good situation. Let's not try to defend what happened or didn't. It. What is the advice that you that is stuck thinking, how am I going to deal with a crisis? Face it head on. Don't hide from it. Take on what exactly is the challenge. Uh, be direct. Uh, be honest and open about it. Share your journey. Don't wait till it's all perfect. But the biggest thing I've learned is go after it right away. What do you think were the traits that got you to the top of your career? I think one is curiosity. Two is openness to opportunities as they present themselves. Not to just take the first thing that comes along, but to think about what makes you successful. So thinking about what makes you great and how do you lean into that and, and follow career paths as opportunities present themselves. Well, BCG recently conducted research around something called the ambition gap, which shows that ambition is absolutely influenced by company culture and the support networks. Do you believe that the way that a company supports women might influence that? level of ambition. First of all, I think ambition is such a critical factor. I was born into a family of three girls and my father came from a family of four boys and he ends up with these three girls and I really believe he raised me as, as the son he didn't have and therefore he imbued me with a sense of ambition that I probably naturally had. I think the other thing that happened is my dad lost his job while I was in college and I watched him have to go through a very painful period and I thought I'm never going to be in that position I'm not going to be uh, and, th and then he died very early and I watched my mother struggle to even know where the mortgage was and so it created this ambition for me to not only succeed but to be able to take care of myself. What have you taught your two girls about how to develop the confidence and resilience you know that powered you through? I've tried to teach them through I guess example and when they've had difficulties to just go at them head on. If you have an issue with someone in a really nice way, just talk to them about it. The second thing I've tried to say is, and this is, it's hard I think when you're a successful woman or man, your kids look up and say, I'm supposed to be like you. And so understanding, you know, what you're passionate about, exploring enough things to see when something really connects and go with it will help you be successful. And and don't define success in terms of my success. What are your words of wisdom for women out there who want to one day be you? Well, my first thing is get some sponsors, get people to support you, share what you're feeling and what you're thinking, and men can be tremendous allies of women. It's not just women supporting women. The other thing I would ask people is what's the top, right? What is your vision of the top? Maybe the top for you is it's time for you to go form a company. How many successful entrepreneurs are there? Is there a different definition of top? I think it's women 
succeeding and being able to enjoy the lifestyle they want and raise a family or not raise a family the way they want to, that's success and maybe we too narrowly define what success is. Thank you, Dawn Hudson. Well, thank you. I could talk to you for hours.